Hi, everyone. I'm here with Nicole, the gut girl. Thanks for being here, Nicole. Thank you for having me. We always appreciate your research that you've done and your insight and all that. So appreciate that. So we're going to talk about L-glutamine. L-glutamine is an amino acid. We're both amino acid freaks. Yes. We, I take all kinds of amino acids for all kinds of reasons. And, you know, before we turn this on, we were talking about protein and how that's the one thing that people aren't getting enough of. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, you take L-glutamine. How do you take it? You take it by yourself and just tell us about the importance of it. Okay, so L-glutamine is has a surprising benefit that people really don't think about it. Most people are thinking about what it does to our muscles and that kind of stuff. And that's how it kind of came up in popularity is through bodybuilders. But L-glutamine in the holistic world has a whole different meaning than that as well. It The body produces glutamine, but we use such a large amount of it. That's why I supplement with it. I also supplement with it because I had my own health problems and I had H. pylori and thyroid and those kind of things. Um, and the surprising benefit of glutamine is that it helps tremendously with gut health. It helps with leaky gut. It helps with colitis. It helps with IBS. It, it actually helps form new healthier cells in the small intestine. So that's why when somebody has bouts of IBS, colitis, Crohn's, all of that kind of stuff, glutamine is a heavy hitter when it comes to that. So I love it. I take it by itself in a powder form. I do it once in the morning in a, in a glass of water and I love it because since I had H. pylori, I can easily get in a bout of things like colitis and it helps almost immediately. So yeah, I take, I take glutamine with glycine mm -hmm. and NAC and acetylcysteine. That's glutathione, right? Right. Right. Absolutely. Yes. So you're just beefing up that detox pathway and that's amazing. But the other surprising benefit that I use a lot in my practice, it is it's amazing for brain health. It helps with epilepsy. It helps with bipolar. It helps with depression issues because it is such a huge thing for brain health. It also helps the brain when you're aging. So uh, glutamine is a huge thing that we're not thinking that a lot of people are not thinking of when it comes to different things rather than just, you know, building muscle and that kind of stuff. Yeah. And, you know, like taurine, phenomenal for oh, yeah. brain support and all that. But these are all singular form amino acids, but these aren't essential amino acids, right? Nope. This one's not an essential amino. We make it, but we use so much of it that we should supplement with it. So can you talk a little bit about this? Because I think this is important. Just because an amino acid is not essential doesn't mean that you're not going to benefit or even need to supplement with a non-essential amino acid. Non-essential amino acids are amino acids that your body can make from the different essential amino acids. There's nine of them. Some people say 10, some people, right. well, taurine, and you know, it can't make enough of it. Glutamine, right. it can't make enough of it. So why is it important sometimes First of all, we talk about this all the time. People aren't getting enough protein. If they're not getting enough protein, they're not making the non-essential amino acids right. that their body wants. Maybe yeah. it doesn't need it. It's not going, you're not going to die, but your body wants it. So talk a little bit about some of these um, non-essential amino acids and why it can be a benefit to take them, even though your body can make them. Well, right before we got on, we were talking about how if you constantly are hammering the body with different bad foods, with alcohol, with plastics, with all of the things of outside influences, and your body can't process what you're putting through it, how do you think it's gonna handle it if you don't have amino acids? It is the building blocks of health. It's the building blocks of protein. If you're not getting enough protein, then you're certainly not getting enough of the non or essential. So 
you have to treat the body. I mean, I always look at the body as I'm going to eat to fuel it and I'm going to eat and drink to for health. I don't look at it. And this is kind of stoved off how I lose weight, gain weight, all of that kind of stuff. I don't first look at food as, oh, that looks delicious. I look at it as how is this going to work in my body? How is water or all of the things that I get in my, in my day or the toxins that come in, how is my body going to process that? If you don't have the essential or the non-essential or enough of those things, how do you think that that's going to work in your body? That sounds really boring, Nicole. <laughs> Uh, you, you don't sound like you're much fun, but we right. talk, everybody's got that teeter totter. You know, you want to put the bad food on the teeter totter. It's going to go like this. And this is your health over here. Um, so uh, the, the, the non-essential amino acids and you and I were talking before we turned this on too, we both supplement our meals with amino acids. Yep. I supplement them with, all the essential amino acids with the branch chain aminos. And some people say, oh, you're wasting your money. Well, if you just take branch chain aminos by themselves, yeah, you probably are. You've got to get all the essential amino acids so that your body can make what it wants as far as the other amino acids. But also, you know, I take arginine and ornithane and those are not um, essential amino acids. Right. I take citrulline you know, all day long. That's good for so many things. I take taurine. Right. So there's a lot of amino acids. And just because an amino acid is not essential doesn't mean you're not going to get a benefit from it because probably you are, right? Oh, absolutely. You know, we use so much of the non-essential in of what our body produces. And you also have to think we're all aging. So we're, we're going down on that how we produce it and how much we produce and all of that kind of stuff. So I don't know, it is very simple to put some aminos in my water. Well, you know, after I, after I eat a meal to supplement with that, to bring all that up, it's just too easy not to do it. Right. And that's the key doing it with a meal so that you can get that broad base and get as many yeah. amino acids. And um, just because an amino acid is not essential, meaning your body can make it, that doesn't mean that your body doesn't want more of it because it usually does. It usually Absolutely. wants more of all the amino acids. Absolutely. I agree. All right. Well, Nicole, um, everyone knows if you've been watching us that you'll give a hundred dollars off your program. If you're having gut problems or hormone problems. And a lot of times, don't you think this is true, Nicole, if they're having gut problems or hormone problems, they don't even know. Right. Because you're living with it. You, you're, it's your normal. Yeah. You just know you're trying to be healthy and you're trying to lose weight or whatever, and it's not working. One of those two things could be it. So if you, if you, um, reach out to Nicole, tell her that, um, you, uh, saw one of these videos, she'll give you a hundred dollars off. How do they get a hold of you? You can reach me at the email, the gut girl one at gmail.com. And that's the easiest way to exchange information and see what's going on with you. And you do a lot of little tips and so on on social media. Where are you there? I do. I do. I have um, Facebook, which is the gut girl. I have TikTok and Instagram, which is the gut girl NV. All right, Nicole, thanks so much for your expertise and your input. We will talk to you next time. Thank you.